Oh boy, is it mild. I was outside along Kelly Drive there yesterday. Everybody was out and about. It was. <laughs> Felt like April. My allergies are killing me, Larissa. <laughs> I I believe it because mine are too, and it's I think it's also part of the very dry air that's locked in place. When there's no humidity, my sinuses start to act up. So you know you just maybe want to sit in a humidifier, or a nice little trick is to turn up the hot water in your bathroom and just kind of let the steam do its thing. Temperatures out there are going to be very mild. That is the big story for us on this Tuesday. A mild, pleasant, beautiful, terrific. Lovely Tuesday on tap. We're tracking temperatures in the 40s here for the first part. And then as the day presses on, of course, the sun is getting a little bit higher in the sky and the days are getting longer and longer. Have you noticed that our sun is setting after 530? I know. Incredible. Anyway, temperatures by 3 o'clock will be in the mid 50s. 5 o'clock, that sun is still out and temps will be around 51 degrees. Once we lose the heating of the day, these numbers do come down and we are going to enjoy a dry and mild start from start to finish. Now, if you think today is mild, which it is by up to 10 degrees above average, we're going to keep this trend going. A nice lift in that jet stream will allow for a southwest flow to invade the region. Notice those pretty yellows and oranges representing that milder air mass. And by the time Wednesday, Thursday and Friday roll in, we're talking highs well into the 60s. But notice that pocket of colder air represented by the blue. It's not that we're saying it's going to be short lived because it's mild, but cooler air does arrive for the start of the weekend and then another rebound in terms of temperatures for Sunday. So this is what it looks like on paper today. Beautiful tomorrow. Very mild Thursday rain, Friday rain Chandler, Friday night, extremely cold, and then it's chilly for for one day on Saturday.